and the request of Alexander Timelov, we are going to tell about the internal resistance matching. The source and load matching is the selection of the relation of the source output resistance to the load input resistance, with the purpose of reaching the set properties of the resulting system. At that, as a rule, we try to reach the maximum value of some parameter. The following types of matching are the most widespread ones. Voltage matching. It is used to reach the maximum voltage in the load. For this to happen, the load resistance is to be much higher than the source output resistance. Ideally, the maximum reachable voltage in the load is to equal the source EMF. This kind of matching is used when the voltage is the signal carrier and it is to be transmitted with minimum loss. A particular case of this matching is matching with voltage reduction. In principle, to reduce voltage you can just connect a damping resistor in series with the source. However, adding a resistor results in useless release of power at it. To avoid useless energy spending, alternating current systems frequently incorporate reactive damping impedances, generally capacitors. Thus, by using a capacitance tapping, you can get small voltages from a high voltage line for powering autonomous devices. Current matching. It is used to reach the maximum current in the load. At that, the load input resistance is to be as low as possible in comparison to the source output resistance. The maximum permissible current in the load will equal the ratio of the source EMF to the load input resistance. Power matching. It is used for reaching the maximum permissible power in the load. This power equals the ratio of the square of EMF to 4 load input resistance. In direct current circuits, the load input resistance is to equal the source output resistance. Finally, wave impedance matching. It is used for reaching the maximum traveling wave ratio. The wave impedance is to equal the internal resistance. It is used almost in all SHF appliances. In reality, everything is not as simple as one can think. For example, when the source internal resistance equals the load input resistance, it means when the system is matched. The EMF source develops the maximum useful power. However, about 50% of energy is lost in the source internal resistance. Therefore, this matched mode cannot be used in mains lines as it is inefficient. However, it is optimal for low current communication lines. Thus, to get optimal operation, not only electrical parameters are to be taken into consideration, but also the heating of wires, which ensures the best operating conditions of the line.